This is a flip through of Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 5. Level 5 corresponds with a traditional fifth grade year of math. Most students take one year for one level. If you're interested in the program, you're going to want to purchase two books, the Spiral Bound Student Book. This has all their activities, the lessons, examples, and the practice pages. Your child will write right on top of this page, so it is consumable and the teaching guide answer key. This has notes on every lesson, answers printed right on top of a thumbnail of the practice pages, pacing guide. It also has in the back all the tear out sheets that you will need for the activities. Now the activities mostly just use common household items. We do provide a complete list for you and you can even check that out online before purchasing. There are a few items that are pretty math specific that I wanna just show you. So you will want a calculator, just a simple four operation calculator for your child. Linking cubes for these guys. Fraction tile, they come in a set like this. There'll be one that's like one whole and then there'll be one half, et cetera. Pattern blocks, those look like this. They come in a variety of different types of set. Doesn't really matter what kind you get. It's those ratios of the shapes that are what is important. Base 10 blocks, these are blocks that show place value. So there's 100 flats, 1,000 cubes, 10 rods, unit cubes. And then a protractor so your child can measure and draw angles. This program follows a really well-researched approach to teaching mathematics. New concepts are taught concretely first with something hands-on or something from real life, something that child can touch and feel. After they learn it concretely, we move to pictorial, where they see pictures of those math ideas still represented with real life things. And then finally, we move to abstract, where we have numerals and math symbols. So concrete, pictorial, abstract. It is a blend of mastery and spirals. So a whole chapter will be dedicated to a certain topic, like area and perimeter or volume, so that kids can layer their understanding. But there's also a spiraling skills practice. So every day, students spend five to 10 minutes reviewing a previously learned skill so they can really master it. Let's take a look at the teaching guide answer key first. So this is the book for you, the homeschooling parent. And we're really just trying to make it as easy as possible for you. So when you start this, you're going to see a suggested pacing guide or a suggested schedule. It tells you exactly what lesson to do each day and which skills practice so that you know kind of where you're at with getting through the book. We use a four day week in case you have a co-op day or you just need a grace day. And using that four day week, it'll take you 36 weeks to get through this level. There are 116 lessons and then there's like extra days for projects and more involved things like that. So you can see on here each day there's a lesson and then a skills practice. So here it's lesson 71. The skills practice is adding decimals. So overview of the program. And then um, this gives you a picture of all the different skills practice topics. And I explain the problem solving element that's included in this level. You'll see more of that in a little bit. Each unit starts with a list of all the supplies you need for that unit. And then here's the skills practice described for unit one, what the skills are, and multiple different ways you could practice it. So if you're practicing multiplying by a two digit number, you can use these note card problems. Here's a game you can play. There's different options given. And then you'll see we have notes on every lesson and the answers to the practice pages. It's all just designed to be really at a glance, quick and easy for you, the parent. Jump ahead a little bit here. So here's unit two. We're gonna learn about fractions, but the skills practice is division. So dividing by a single digit number and dividing by a two digit number with long division. So there's different ways that they can practice. They could write their own long division problem. They could print a long division worksheet off the book extras website. Lots of different options given. Okay, in the back, 
are the tear out pages that you need for the activity. So the first one is a reference sheet for those problem solving lessons. And then these are all tear out pages for the activities that you will use or game boards. If there's a game, all that is back here. There are optional tests. If you would like your child to take a test at the end of the chapter, those are provided. And then the last page is a complete supply list for the whole year down to like a paper towel. So you can just see everything. This is also available online if you'd like to see it before you decide to purchase the curriculum. Let's take a look at the student book. So your child's gonna work through this cover to cover. To cover. It's very straightforward. I'll give you a quick overview of the content. We're gonna start with whole numbers, be working with things like powers of 10, multiplication, scientific notation, order of operations, division, the long division is in here. Then we're gonna do fractions, decimals, geometry and measurement. There's a great chapter on conversions in that unit, percents and graphing. Every unit starts with a short devotional about how the math in that unit can point us to God and help us to see new aspects of his creation. Here's the reference to the skills practice. Also, the science connection for this level is land animals. That's why you see so many like great animals. And so this is just unit one. We kind of flip through here. Lots of activities. It's very colorful. When we work on the design, I want kids to be flipping ahead and getting excited for the next lesson. Here's the first problem solving practice. So there's one of these each unit. And in this one, we review the problem solving process, which is just how do you solve open ended math problems, math problems that could be solved in a variety of ways. And in this level, students will get to choose their own strategy. So there's an example. We show two different ways you might have solved it. And then they have some problems to do them themselves, and they might solve these in different using different methods. There's chapter reviews at the end of each chapter. Multiples and factors. So much good math in this unit. At the end of each unit, there will be a project. So the unit one project is a mathematical clue game, and they have to use some of the math that they learned to get clues and decide who stole the last cookie to kind of cap off that unit. All right, there's a few other elements I would like to show you. Just kind of highlight. Let's look at just a typical lesson so you can kind of see the flow. So here they're doing adding and subtracting mixed numbers. There's an activity where they're using fraction tiles. Then there's examples and then the practice. And then this starts the next lesson. This is actually a good thing for you to see. Not every single lesson starts with an activity. This one has a warm up because it was more important for the kids to review something than to play around with some new concept. So I'm always just thinking in terms of what's the best thing for them in terms of the learning. All right, let's just jump ahead here. So much great math in here. I wanted to show you, there's some really fun projects. This is the unit three project. So in this project, um, they're learning about microbiology and microorganisms, and they use yeast to inflate balloons, all while using the math they learned in that unit. So just a ton of fun. You can find more information on this level on the Apologia website.